One important facet of boating is a trailer. Uh, actually, there's two different configurations, a roller and a bunk. Yeah, and so before we dive into why James chooses a bunk trailer and I have a roller trailer, let's first explain what each of them are. As the names would imply, the bunk trailer is essentially carpeted boards that use friction for holding and launching your boat. Roller trailers have small rollers that support the hull and roll to launch the boat and load the boat. One thing that's good about a bunk trailer, they're less expensive than a roller trailer. Uh, the, one of the real key things are about a bunk trailer, you have to put in in deep level accesses. One of the upsides of a roller trailer is the ability to put in in shallow water situations, which I cannot do with this particular boat. I choose a roller trailer because I'm often fishing remote locations or off the beaten path lakes that can have shallow accesses and the roller allows me to fish those waters. The downside to this is you always have to be sure that you're never unhooking the winch line and safety chain when you're on an incline or the boat will simply roll off of the trailer. Now I have a modified system on the front of this boat that automatically locks and unlocks when I'm on a ramp. The downside is, of course, a roller trailer is more expensive, but I feel the benefits of accessing off the beaten path lakes outweigh the cost. One more thing with regards to aquatic invasive species. It is easier to remove aquatic plants from a roller trailer. However, regardless of which trailer you have, always be sure to inspect for AIS prior to launching and after you load the boat. One important aspect of boating is launch etiquette. And what I mean by that is when you do the preparation, you put the plug in, get your safety equipment out, uh, that's done off to the side, not at the launching and loading site. Most of the time, what you want to do, by the time I get there, this boat is ready to go in. Either system will work for just about any type of boat. If it's a super lightweight boat, you really don't need the extra cost of the roller trailer. If you know you're going to be using good ramps the vast majority of time, save some money and go with bunks. If you want to explore off the path in shallow access, it's worth considering rollers. Now we'd like to share with you some tips on launching and loading at public accesses. Okay, bring her back. One thing that's vitally important whether you're using a bunk or a roller trailer, there's really an optimum level for loading the boat. For my boat and trailer system, it's about one third of the bunks are submerged. With a bunk trailer, you can unhook all the straps prior to launching the boat. But with a roller, it's important that you have the boat in the water prior to unhooking the front winch line and safety chain. A few common mistakes that even we make launching and loading the boat are, number one, remembering to put the plug in. If the boat doesn't start, always make sure that the kill switch is in the run position and that the motor is in neutral. Now in this case, I'm gonna start the motor, put it in forward to relieve some of the pressure on the winch, and then James will unhook it and we'll slide right off. On a roller trailer, I find having the rear set of rollers just a couple inches under the water is the perfect depth for loading the boat on the trailer. That's our take on bunk and roller trailers.